Hi guys, in this session again we are going to understand one of the most important interview question. So we will understand how to reverse sentence word by word. Consider this is the input we are learning Java, but we need output Java learning R V, right? Then how we can reverse it by using Java, right? So let's create one program. I am creating one class reverse word see so I have created one class now I will create one main method and we can take a string this input right we can Consider this is a one complete string, right? We are learning Java. It is a complete one string, right? So I will put in one string. So input, this input, I will take a reference variable. Input is equal to, I will copy it from here and put it here under double inverted comma, right? So if we are putting in one invited comma, that means this is a string, right? So this is the string which we need to reverse it word by word. So if interviewer asks you to reverse any sentence word by word, then first of all, you will have to split it. How we can split? Let me show you. So first of all, this input we have split method in a string so we can utilize that method right so i will use this input dot we can call split method s p l i t here we have split method we can use this method how we can use this uh, split method see so i am going to split wherever we have space see i have i have put here space right so what I'll do, I will split wherever we have space, right? I will sp uh, split it from there and I will store in one array. So array, I will take like this. Uh, string type of array, I will take. I will declare the type string and we can take one reference variable. A reference variable, I'm taking word and this is array. So I will use to this symbol this is array symbol single dimensional array right so what we did so far this is a one string right we are splitting first wherever we have space we are splitting from space here i have given the space right so wherever space it will find out it will split from there right so after splitting it will store in array right here you can take any any reference variable i have just taken a word right you can take anything you can define here array as well right array so i'm defining array here you can write anything so we are splitting wherever we have space and after after that we are storing in one array right so internally how it will work internally it will work like this see consider this is one string right and after that where, wherever we have uh, this space right we are splitting and storing in one array right this is one array right and how it will store it will store index wise like this we are learning java right it is storing index wise right so at index 0 we have v at index 1 we have r at index 2 we have learning and at index 3 we have java so it it will internally it will looks like this right so it could be any any string right it doesn't matter but whenever you will split wherever we have space it will split and it will store one array like this right so here i have taken word if you want you can uh, put it here word array anything you can write it right don't need to confuse here right 
and after that i will use after that i will use for loop right so that it will loop each for each and every word right so how we can use for loop for int right int and i is equal to so what i'll do this is array right so i will loop till the length array dot length right minus 1 i will explain you why we are using minus 1 see we have total four length right uh, we have total four word v one word r two learning three and java four right we have total four word right but it will start from zeroth index right so that is why we are putting here minus 1 means whatever the length we have of this array minus 1 it means it will start from third index last word right and now we will put one condition i should be greater than or equal to 0 because we need to loop from this last word to this first word zeroth index means it will start looping from third index to zero index right and after that it will decrease one by one right now here we can print so as soon as it will loop it will print the value right so i will use here sys out and we need the value of this array right so i will use here array and here i need a value of this i right so i will define here i so whatever the value we will get it from here we will store in array right let me give some space here Right. If I run this program, then see it has reversed. First, it is giving Java. Second, it is giving learning R and V. If you want this output in one line, then you can remove this ln. Ln means what it will do? It will uh, print first word and it will move into the next line. So if I'll remove this ln, then it will print in one line. See, it is printing in one line, Java learning RV, right? So I will explain you again how it is working, right? So total here, see, I value we have, see, I value currently we have four, right? One, two, three, four, right? So total we have four word, right? So I have defined here four, but it is saying array. Array means after splitting, it will store in this array, right? Like this like this right it is saying array dot length minus one right then it means it is starting from zeroth index so zero one two three so i will take here i value three because it is starting from zeroth index right so it means zero one two three right it is saying array dot length minus one right so whatever the length we have minus one it means it will start looping from here right from the end and after that it will check the condition here so currently i value we have three right so it will check three three is greater than zero it means condition is satisfying once condition will satisfy it will come inside this right and here what it will happen it will it will come here and it will print i value i value means currently i value we have three right and if condition is satisfying then it will print this last index value three or uh, uh, whatever the value is available at index three so it will print that third index value that means java right after that after printing again it will go here and it will decrease the i value so now i value will be two right again again it will check the condition 
right again it will uh, check whether 2 is greater than or equal to 0 yes again condition is satisfying then again it will come here and it will go here it will check at index 2 we ha we have value learning so now it will do it will pick it this word and print it here like this right and again after printing it will decrease the value so now i value will be 1 right again it will check the condition again it will check the condition whether 1 is greater than or equal to 0 yes condition is satisfying again it will come inside this and it will uh, check array at index 1 what value is available so at index 1 we we have value r so it will print it here r right and after printing again it will decrease the value now i value will be zero right again it will check the condition whether zero is greater than or equal to zero yes condition is satisfying why because it is not a greater than but it is equal to zero only right so if condition is satisfying again it will go at 0th index and it will get the value, right? So, we, we have value V right here, uh, V, right? So, it will print the value, right? And after printing, we don't have to decrease anything. So, it will break the loop, right? It will stop the looping, right? So, this is how it will work internally, right? So, if I'll execute it, then it will give the output like this. So it's a very simple. Whenever interviewer asks you to reverse any sentence word by word, then wherever it will found space, it will split and after splitting, it will store in array, right? And as you know, array works, array stores the values index wise, right? So it will store like this. We are learning Java index wise, right? And after that, what we are doing? We are reversing word by word by using this for loop, right? I already have explained you how it works, right? If you still have any doubt, then you can ask me in the comment. Thank you guys for watching this video.